Hello again and a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. This one I was going to do just a walkthrough tutorial but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do a performance for it. You really need a spectator for this. But I'll give it my best shot anyway. As you can see I've got four cards. I'm not going to tell you what these four cards are. But I will tell you that the one card short of a, a winning poker hand. So what I'd like you to do, shuffle this packet up to start with, give it a nice shuffle. Then all I want you to do is deal the cards down one at a time until you, you think you're at the right card. Right? And you deal them down, facing down. Right? So say you deal them down. Da 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 Okay, so you want that one there, right? We'll just stick down to the top of the pile. And what we'll do, yeah, what we'll do is we'll stick it back down here and I'll show you what cards I've actually got. I've got a one, a two, a four, and a five of spades. No guesses really, well, no prizes for guessing which card I'm actually missing. Five, four, two, and one. What cards would I need? The three of spades. How's that? You went and got two. The three of spades. Put all these back together. Right, so you got the three of spades on that one. Now what we'll do is we'll take the three of spades and we'll bury that somewhere into the middle of the packet. Right? So as you can see, I've got the ace, the two, the four, and the five still. Five, four, three. Five, four, two, ace. This time what I want you to do is deal the cards, but deal them facing up, right? Until you're happy and you're certain that it's a card that you want. And say so you want that one, right? What one did you get? Ace of Diamonds. Oh dear. Well, the Ace of Diamonds doesn't exactly fit in with these, does it? Not in the slightest. But it's been on top of the pack now. So what we'll do is we'll put the Ace of Diamonds down there. And again, we'll show you. Got the Ace, the Two, and the Five. We'll put that back there. So we've got the Five, the Four, the Two, and the Ace. And we had the Ace of Diamonds, but with just a little bit of magic and a very bad spin, we should end up with the Three again. So we end up with the Ace, the Two, the Three, the Four, and the Five. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Right, that was a performance of it. Now for the tutorial. You get onto that. Right, so we've got, well, we've got the three there. What you need is one colour deck with three of spades or whatever cards you want to use of that deck and these two, four and five of a different colour deck. This, by the way, is by Daniel Madison. It's called Heritage, and I'm assuming this is the way it gets done. Well, it works for me, doesn't it? It's got the ace, the two, the four, and the five in that order, and you have them facing down on the deck. You have the three palmed in your hand, so it's actually facing your palm. You start off, you pick the four cards up, and you just spread them out to show you've got four cards. And again, you can use whatever dialogue you want to, but I'll go by what I just did. You get them say whatever, and as you're putting them in, you're putting them in so that they go face up onto that card. Spread them out. They go face up onto that card, so when you turn them over, they can't see it. You keep hold of these, by the way. So at the moment, you've got the three on the bottom. You keep hold of them while you tell them to shuffle the packet up. And then deal down whatever they want to deal. So they'll deal down cards onto the table and you tell them that when they're happy to deal the card they're happy with face down on the top of the cards in your hand. Then all you have to do is a bottom deal because you've got you're the red one on the bottom which is the three. So you do a bottom deal and a wrist kill so they don't see that red card. So you just do a ooh, sweaty hands. You just do a bottom deal, wrist kill, put that down. 
Then you can show them what card you've got and just reverse the order, peeling them off one at a time but keeping your double together, just to show it is a double. So, but what you can see from this, what card I'm going to need, whatever you want to say, and then reverse the order again. So you put the bad card on the bottom. You turn over that card to show it's the three. Put it face up on the bottom of the pile, and then turn it over. I'll square that up a bit because I need that again. Now you've got the two red ones on the top. There's the black. There's the three, and there's the black one. So you're now going to do a second deal, and again, wrist kill as you do it. Split the packet and throw the indifferent card into the middle. Keep all the cards. If you want to, you can go through them again just to show that you've got the, the five, the four, the ace and the two. Then tell them to deal the cards facing up until they're happy. And we're using the three out of here. They're not going to get to a three. So they just keep going through and then they say, right, I'm happy with this one. So you say, we'll deal that face up onto the table. Four. Well, it doesn't fit in with the plans, does it? Then you can, if you want to, just put all them on the top, square up and turn them over. And that puts the indifference on top of your three again. So again, all you need to do is do a second deal, turn it over, and ensure you've got the ace, the two, the four and the five in your hand. And what was the four of diamonds? I'll try and get a better spin. Ah, I can do this off camera. Every time I go on camera, I fail with that. Who cares? You turn it over and you have the three. And there's the indifferent one. There's, the only way you can clean this up after you've done it is turning it over, moving the bottom card to the top, putting them on the deck and going, hang on, no, they're on the wrong deck. And then take the four cards off. And that's just dumped that one onto there. So you can end up then with just them five. I say it's one by Daniel Madison and that's the, that's the only way I can think of doing it after watching his video. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Hope it made sense. Give a bit of practice. Go and have fun with it. Just learn the top and bottom deals. I'll see you again soon.